Hey guys, this is the Non-Portable Lance and this is Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 11, La Serpiente. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, I'm assuming it's La Serpiente. In the previous episode, people were fighting over the amount of water that they were going to have and then somehow the episode ended with everyone helping each other. And Madison, Victor, uh, Strand, <laughs> I, for some reason I was going to call him Shades, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and um, Walker are on their way to the dam to get some water because obviously they're in great need of it and well that's really all that happened in the episode despite it being 40 minutes long let's just get on with the episode and see what happens in this one uh, Walker if you're tired don't drive Ooh, what are they eating? Well, shite. Don't tell me that absolutely all of them fucking walkers can hear that tiny little beeping sound. If you had just, you know, gone full speed, he would have been able to go through it. How the hell did those walkers catch up? Oh, oh, oh that's nasty. Quite an odd place for the title <laughs> sequence, isn't it? You know, it probably would have worked right after the truck scene. Don't, don't slip. Breathe through your mouth. Not any better, but well, actually, it probably is better than breathing in through your nose, isn't it? How the hell does Strand know the way there? Through tunnels. I traded your gold. Um, I think Strand can hear you. You know? It is a very echoey tunnel, and he's not that far away. <laughs> So basically, this was all for nothing. They could have gone straight to the dam. It seems like every time Strand and Madison are left alone, Walker's going off somewhere in trouble. It doesn't sound like outside. Well, that is just fucking scary. I don't know why they stopped. How the fuck didn't she see that from several meters away? This is the dis most disgusting episode so far. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't the first time she's messing with a dead person's head. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, didn't Lola get sh like hit with a rock or something? They they start all of it. This man found her in the desert. He saved her. She lives with us on a ranch across the. He might also be fucking her, but that's also to be discussed. I was about to say something, I was about to say damn, and then I thought, no, that would have been just too stupid to say. <sighs> we have no water for you. I 
Consider this. She's also on all this. Well, she isn't going to think you're dead for too long. When Madison gets back to the camp, she's probably going to tell her. What's that? There's going to be a war, isn't there? Between the people that want the water and between and the people that have the water. Dissatisfaction breeds dissent. Dissent. But they were shooting. Well, not shooting. They were throwing things at them, almost injuring them. There are those. Uneasy lies the He's delusional to think that the people are going to be peaceful. Daniel's not impressed. I don't know what's gonna happen if I don't get this water. You're gonna die first. You always find. They don't see the good. They're just going to attack. They need to understand that people aren't as nice as they think they are. Have fun dying. These people aren't the best at leading, really. Someone else needs to do it. Madison, you better get water quickly. Walker thinks that what he had Ophelia do is something to be proud of. And obviously, Daniel doesn't think that way. A truck accidentally. Kill them. Lola, you're going to have to fight. Because they just wasted water. When we face you, slip a knife in your back, let's turn. I know this. Is he talking about Strand? Yeah. Adios, Daniel. How'd you do it? Must have been a spark. You saw the safety regulations at that place. An accident waiting to happen. Oh, cut the shit. You asked what I wanted, then it happened. So it was all strung. But then where the hell did all those people come from? Thankfully all those people just so happened to be there at the time he blew it up. You know? There you go! Okay, so that episode was... I liked the episode, it was slower than... I... It was, I mean, I say slow, it was actually pretty much exactly how I felt the other episodes. It went by very quickly, simply because there wasn't a lot of talking, as that, you know, there isn't usually much talking in The Walking Dead, is there? Or in Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, so in this episode, um, it was just mainly trying to persuade Lola into giving them water. Uh, Strand finally um, told Madison that, uh, Dan that Daniel survived the fire and is now at the dam. Um, which is also partially how they persuade Lola into giving them water. And then um, Madison and Strand had a little conversation about sort of what they both want right now. And then Madison, I don't really remember what she said, but apparently Strand did what she wanted and he blew up one of the tanks and with that was full of water. And just so happened that there was a load of rioters right outside complaining to the, like, well, protesting them for some reason. Uh, still don't understand why they are fighting against them, like, 
they like these people have water what are you doing why are you shooting at them why are you attacking them they're giving you water they're helping you why are you attacking them obviously that's just something and of and because of the explosion it only further persuaded Lola to want to get ammunition and guns which Efrain doesn't want well he thinks that giving people peace will and peace will be returned to you, which isn't how the apocalypse works. You know, they're going to act, they've been acting violently, they're not going to be stopping anytime soon. And then also, Walker told Daniel about the time that Ophelia went over to the ranch and poisoned a load of people with anthrax. Wit and, um, well, Daniel didn't like that at all, you know. He raised his daughter and all of a sudden she's a killer. Um, Walker's acting like it's something to be proud of and Daniel thinks it's something to be disappointed by. And then also, um, there's also like a very tense relationship between Daniel and Lola because obviously Lola knows who he is, that he's killed people, that he isn't really scared to kill people and she's seeing similarities between him and the guy that was running the place before which she's scared by but it's kind of obvious that she does care for him in some ways and it's kind of like Daniel sees her as a second Ophelia kind of weird but kind of understandable so yeah that was more that was just the entire episode nothing really too much happened other than the things I've mentioned now so yeah, I'll be back with episode 12 next week. So, bye.